human beings suffer their own memory and imagination. That is, they suffer that which does not exist. What is in your memory is not existentially there, it's only in your mind. What is in your imagination is not yet, you're making it up from your experience of the past. So when things that do not actually exist, if they torment you, you must understand that the torment is entirely self-torture. Ninety-five percent of human suffering is like this. The five percent of suffering that comes because of disease, death, war, famines, this has considerably come down compared to how it was in the past for our generation of people. Well, we are in the middle of a pandemic, everybody may dispute it, even the pandemic, I'm telling you. A million people unfortunately have died, many have lost their dear ones, people have lost their jobs, businesses, I understand that. But most of the suffering is in your mind, you create this suffering. Your mind should work for you, your mind should work, your memory and imagination are the greatest faculties that you have. This should work to create well-being, this should create joy, this should create blissfulness. Above all, this should create new possibilities for you, not torment you. Taking charge of your mental faculties is one of the most important things that needs to be taught to our children. But unfortunately, we're teaching them about amoeba, we're teaching them about the lizard, we're opening up the frog's heart and looking how it beats. But our education system has done nothing to teach generations of people to understand how our faculties function and how we can make them function for our well-being. If we make all our faculties, particularly our memory and imagination, function for our well-being, we can decide individual destinies and also the common destiny of this generation. We can take charge of it. The power of being a human being is all your faculties must take instructions from you. They must be under your control. They must do what you want them to do. If your memory and imagination are playing up without your permission, you simply suffer either your memory or your imagination. You may call it stress, you may call it anxiety, you may call it depression. Essentially, you lost control over your faculties. There is a whole science. There is a whole science, as there is a science for external well-being to create external climate and situations. There is a whole science to create an inner, inner climate to keep this always in the best possible way. This is what yoga means. May you know yoga and may you know the joy of being alive.